Hello and welcome to another edition of Word in the Berg, our monthly topical talk show about all things that matter to Harrisburg and the region. Today's topic is one of my favorites. We're going to be discussing Capona. It's that time of the year again. Labor Day is fast approaching and everybody is out on the Susquehanna River. We are delighted to have three uh, fantastic guests today. We have Shannon Williams of Capital Region Water. We have Chris Franklin, who will be organizing our basketball tournament. Uh, you may recognize him as a Harlem Globetrotter and a great contributor to the community. And we have Michelle Fry, who is a Native American spiritual advisor and one of the organizers of the Pow Wow, an anchor event uh, at Capona this year and all years. Um, I'm very excited. I know we all have uh, our favorite things to do at Capona. Why don't we start with you, Shannon, and talk a little bit about the Water Carnival, which is making a repeat appearance after being incredibly successful last year. Thank you. Uh, fun things to do for mm -hmm. uh, all family members. Um, right. uh, tell us about what we can expect. Sure, this is our second year of what we're calling the Raindrop to River Conservation Carnival. It's a family-based uh, mini carnival style uh, arrangement where we have, we're gonna have five games where you can win prizes. We're gonna have a misting tent. Uh, we will have our popular tap water bar so you can taste our delicious Harrisburg city water. And uh, we're gonna have some demonstrations on watersheds, what they are, and even going so far as to have demonstrations about our laboratory testing requirements. We'll also be showing a video that we were recently able to produce with the, uh, the assistance of the Water Res Resources Environmental uh, Network to produce about source water protection, where our drinking water comes from, and what we can all do to protect that source. So we're very excited. Uh, we had over 5,000 people come through last year and about 2,000 participate in our games. We're very thankful to have some sponsors that can help us put this on. But it's essentially an event where we at Capital Region Water, because we're the stewards of our area's drinking water, wastewater, and stormwater systems, to bring the community in and let them see where their water rates are going and how they can help us to protect our drinking water and our waters that we, we live and learn and really love to experience on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're very excited to have it back. Well, it's great to have you back. And I know there's nothing better on a hot uh, Capona day than to visit the misting tent. I know. <laughs> <true>. Fun <laughs> for the whole family. Yes. And I thought the games and the activities uh, and the water bar were really terrific. <laughs> I've noticed that Capital Region water bar popping up yes. around town at all sorts of different events. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's very appropriate, of course, because the, the, the meaning of uh, the word Capona um, mm -hmm. comes from a Native American term meaning sparkling waters and the first Capona uh, was actually started in 1916 um, and so that means next year will be the 100th anniversary of Capona and before that for for years in Harrisburg they had a water carnival that's what they called it and so you're you're literally bringing that back and um, and we are celebrating and promoting uh, all things to do with 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 water and the city's um, you know beautiful natural setting here on the Susquehanna River. Absolutely. So I'll be looking forward to that. It should be noted that will be in Riverfront Park mm -hmm. this year. It will. Uh, last year it was on City Island, uh, and as uh, as as folks know, they're going to be able to experience Capona both in Riverfront Park and on City Island. But the bulk of the, the, the food, uh, the music, the, uh, the water carnival, the basketball tournament, that will be in Riverfront Park. And in uh, City Island will be the Senators game, the vendors, everything from you know, the, the, the train ride to the batting cages, and also the powwow and the karate tournament. So we've got a lot to do for the three days of Capona, um, and people can experience that both in Riverfront Park and on City Island. Chris? Yes. Um, we were really fortunate to uh, also inaugurate uh, the basketball tournament last year, which was a great success. How, what, what will people expect this year? How's it going to differ from last year? And, uh, and what are your plans? Well, uh, I think this year will be a lot bigger and a lot better. Uh, we actually have registrations in from as far as New Jersey, um, York, Chambersburg, Lancaster, of people coming in our community and coming to our city um, to enjoy our festivities and enjoy the basketball tournament. So we're happy to bring so many people together for such a positive thing. You know, as a child, I always looked forward to a couple of things. One was the Capona, and the other was the three-on-three -three basketball tournaments uh, down there on the riverfront. So it's just amazing to merge the two and to be able to provide something positive for the youth and for families in our area. 
you know, it's um, from, for people from 10 to 100, you know, we have all ages uh, can come out and participate and, and really have a good time. But I think even more importantly is the cause behind it. You know, it's, it's completely community driven. All of the people down there working, referees are all volunteers, and 100% of the proceeds will go right back into our city to help uh, re rejuvenate the parks. And there was a number of people who came together to try to do something positive in, in their community or in our community. So it's, it's always a, a great thing for me to travel around the world still with the Harlem Globetrotters, but to always come back to my own community and, and do as much as I can in a positive way. Oh, that's really incredible. You know, we have, we're blessed to have 27 incredible parks and playgrounds in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, they all need uh, support. And, and here, uh, we are not only highlighting, a, a, you know, a, a wonderful family-friendly uh, activity at Capona, but we're also raising money to support the city at the same time. We appreciate that um, uh, tremendously. The Water Carnival is going to be all three days of uh, Capona. Right. So it'll be Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Wins the tournament. It'll be Saturday from 9 to 5, and, and people can reg register the whole way up to September 1st um, by going to um, ultimate3v3 at comcast.net, and they can get information, get uh, registration forms, and all kinds of things. So, so there is still time to register. Yes, If it is time. before September 1st. Yes. And then you can come out and watch it and just really uh, enjoy uh, the whole tournament and, uh, and uh, eat some good food uh, at, the, at the same time. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we're going to have thousands of people. Um, ultimate 3v3 at Comcast.net. Uh, is yes. that right? Okay, yes. very, very good. Um, and that is Saturday. A uh, quick word about the timing of Capona. It's obviously a three-day festival. It's Saturday, Sunday, and Monday of Labor Day weekend. Uh, on Sunday and on Monday, uh, parking is free. You do not have to pay the meters in uh, downtown Harrisburg. That's a, a wonderful thing uh, at the meters. On Saturday, the city is offering a four hour coupon code. So if you park in a meter in downtown Harrisburg on Saturday, uh, if you have the mobile app, Panga, which goes with those, uh, those meters, you can type in your code LOVEHBG, L-U-V-H-B-G, and get four hours of free parking uh, to enjoy Capona. There'll also be parking available all day on City Island at a reduced rate. Uh, which will be available on Saturday and uh, Sunday and Monday if you just want to park your car there and walk over. And there are a variety of other, other options, but uh, parking is going to be easy and affordable uh, for all. So, uh, Michelle, let's turn to you and let's talk a little bit about the Pow Wow, an incredible, incredible event. Tell us a little bit about the history, how many years it's been uh, going on, and what we have to look forward to this year. Well, we're happy to be back for our 19th year, and it's hard to yeah. believe it's been that wow. long already. <laughs> and uh, we're always there on City Island behind the stadium next to Water Golf. It's a really beautiful park, lots of big shade trees, and um, it's a really nice, you know, just even the, just the park and everything for the family to come out. But we have a lot of uh, you know, educational things for, for kids and for all, all ages, but you know, we, the Native Americans have, are still here. We have um, people come from all over the country. We have a uh, world championship uh, hoop dancer. And uh, we have um, a new drum group, uh, medicine horse singers. And they have Eastern Indians, which were the Indians that were here. We have um, native foods and crafts. And there's a lot of people who you know, like to educate and um, answer anyone's questions. And we, have, uh, we open up the circle for, for the kids. And we have a teepee. And so a lot of educational things, um, good food. We have elk and bison, a lot of traditional foods and traditional craftsmen and um, a lot of quality dancers we've been working on building up over the years. And a lot of the, the regalia has been passed down through um, generations and the traditions and everything. Yes, uh, if people haven't experienced it before, I mean, this is really an incredible uh, display of Native American traditions. The dancing is uh, extraordinary. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a full experience of um, a, 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 of history, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, like you said, the Capona means uh, a sparkling water. Native American, the Susquehannocks um, were here, but also the Shawnee were here. It was a summer camp. The island was originally where like many tribes would come together and gather their fish and do their, dry their fish and their venison for the winter. So it was actually then, you know, right. kind of like a powwow. Sure. 
that's what it's always been, a gathering place for the, like a summer camp. So it's pretty. Yes, the history, uh, yeah, the history of the island uh, long predates the water carnival. But here we are, we're celebrating our Native American roots and traditions, our beautiful natural setting and our water and our, our families and our sporting activities and all the things that really make the city great. I, I should take a moment and uh, thank our sponsors for this year's Capona. We are very fortunate to have sponsors that have stepped up to make this possible. We have the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Agency which also assists us with the 4th of July. They have been an amazing um, partner, uh, always willing to support the city. We have Highmark, uh, which is also, of course, sponsoring uh, many summer activities uh, throughout the city of Harrisburg. They've been wonderful. And of course, um, everyone here is a sponsor. Peggy Grove, a local philanthropist, has long supported the powwow and really underwrites that and makes that possible. Capital Region Water is uh, a sponsor. And um, of course, uh, Chris, all the proceeds raised as you've said in your event, is going to be reprogrammed right back into the city where it's desperately needed in our parks and programs. So um, Capona is, is literally uh, people coming together and, uh, and everybody working to uh, sort of collectively make a great celebration. I want to take a moment, and I'm, I'm going to ask you each uh, your, your favorite things about Capona, but I, I, I thought it was important to note that, uh, that we are celebrating an anniversary of sorts this year. Um, 100 years ago, before they, they rebranded Capona and they, um, they launched that in 1916, um, uh, the City Beautiful movement was, was really sort of finishing a whole series of designs for the city of Harrisburg. And they wanted to get them completed in time for the Labor Day Water Carnival in 1915. And in 1915, they opened those beautiful steps that uh, lead down to the river all along Riverfront Park, and which actually have a dual purpose. They, they, they sort of mask in a beautiful way the, the, the sewer interceptor system. So it's been 100 years since those steps were, um, were christened, so to speak. And uh, it's time, I, I, I think, for us to focus on, on, on what we can do to raise funds to restore them and to repair them all along the riverfront. It's also a hundred years since the dam, the Dock Street Dam was uh, built and uh, that elevated the water level of the Susquehanna River and allowed for more canoe racing and uh, bathtub racing and uh, floats and everything else we were talking about, uh, more water life and activity. And it's also a hundred years since the Market Street Bridge uh, uh, under, underwent a, a major renovation and opened in time for Capona. So a um, uh, pretty significant uh, milestone that we're doing. So my favorite thing about Capona is uh, knowing that it, rec it, it sort of represents the end of the summer, but it's a time when the family can all be together uh, and enjoy uh, quality time. Uh, there's something to eat for everyone. There are activities uh, for everyone. I, I should note that in addition to some of the things that we've highlighted here, we're gonna have a, a kid's stage. It'll be near the water carnival uh, the whole time. Everything from, you name it, uh, balloon artists uh, to, uh, to music to, um, uh, fun things, uh, fun things for the whole family. Um, that's what I, I like the most. Of course, we're going to have all the vendors back, uh, everything from uh, uh, kettle corn to uh, um, uh, cool drinks, and, um, and we're going to have live music pretty much all the time. Uh, all three days from uh, from our music stage. So um, I like hanging out with the family. Shannon, mm -hmm. what, uh, what is your favorite thing about Capona's? Well, uh, I don't think it'll surprise anyone, but uh, my favorite part is the river itself. Uh, just to be able to have such a, a wonderful carnival setting and uh, the food vendors and all the people from the surrounding communities coming into Harrisburg and really with the base around our beautiful Susquehanna River. And uh, that's what I love the most about it is just being able to walk along there watch people experience the river sometimes for the first time and I, I love that it brings more and more people into our river city and enjoy our surroundings so it's the river for me and you can still come out and see the canoe races yes. they'll be happening uh and it is it is it is a majestic setting it is. Uh, and one of the most uh, breathtaking places uh, anywhere in the commonwealth and we have it right here in our capital city yes. chris what's your favorite thing about capona's uh, past and uh, present 
Well, for me, I would definitely have to say the tradition of it. Uh, some of my greatest memories have been with my family down to Capona. You can enjoy great food, all kinds of food, the music, the atmosphere, see people you haven't seen since the last Capona. So it's uh, just a great, great time for people to come together in, in unity and just have a good time. So mm -hmm. I love it. And uh, uh, how many years have you been going uh, as, uh, you know, uh, as a resident here? Um, all my life. All your so, life? So yeah. uh, many years. All right, very good. <laughs> since, before the, since before the powwow, 19 years, 19 years for the powwow. Michelle, what's your favorite thing about Capones? Um, being in the River Park and the, I mean, it's the city island, I guess, because that's where yeah. I'm really stuck. But the whole festival, I grew up here too. So the fireworks and the food and mm -hmm. it was every, the whole festival. Okay, you mentioned fireworks, and uh, I should note that we're going to have an incredible firework display. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be Sunday night. It's going to be at sunset. We won't give you an exact time, but we all know when. Right after that final light has passed, it's going to be a fireworks display. And uh, if you saw the firework display for uh, the, the 4th of July this year, you know that we do fireworks uh, in a great way here in Harrisburg. Is that why you like the fireworks? Because they're, they're, they're just so magnificent and impressive and light up the whole sky. Yeah, so my children and I, we travel out to a lot of shows and every time there's fireworks, they're like, oh, they're nothing like Harrisburg. They're, they're so spoiled. And the yeah, reflections. are great, yeah. The reflections. Mm -hmm. I think it was over 20 minutes. I mean, it, this, oh, was, yes. this was not, uh, not your simple firework uh, display. It's a great, it's a great way uh, to, to really, again, celebrate the end of the summer. Um, wonderful, why well, I, I like all those things. Let's see. Some other things we should mention in, uh, about Capona is uh, the diversity of the music that we're going to have on the main music stage. I don't know what your, your interests are, but I do know that we've got a blockbuster lineup of uh, musical performers. If you like uh, country music, you'll, you'll have that. If you like R&B, you'll have that. Classic rock and roll, you have, it's all there. Many local performers uh, performing. Uh, if you want a complete schedule of events, it's going to look something like this. It'll have uh, times and you can sort it by uh, date or you can see what's happening in Riverfront Park versus what's happening on City Island. Uh, all you need to do is go to the city website, harrisburgpa.gov, and you can print out a copy there and get all the information that you need. But remember, we're looking at Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. This is September 5th, 6th, and 7th. Uh, and it's going to be sort of non-stop uh, entertainment. Another thing that we should, uh, sh we should point out, and I'm going to ask you, uh, your, your, your favorite thing to do on City Island. We, we, we should point out that we are really fortunate to have incredible vendors on City Island. They do a, a great job bringing people uh, uh, to the city for recreation sort of year in and year out. And Capona is a, a chance to sort of showcase the island and, and uh, showcase what they do. Now, you know, you, you know we have a train, you know we have uh, a river boat, you know we have water golf. Uh, we have uh, incredible things to do uh, on City Island. Uh, let me ask you each uh, if you have a, a, a favorite memory or thing to do sure. on City Island. What, how about? Well, I'll say uh, a perfect day for me is uh, bike riding with my husband uh -huh. and daughter. Uh, from our house in Midtown, down along Riverfront Park, across that wonderful bridge, uh, over to City Island, ride around, stop, play a round of mini golf, get some ice cream next door, uh, maybe play in the little playground a little bit before we head out on the pontoon boat. And the best days are the ones where there's a Senators game we can listen to on the radio and then watch the fireworks afterwards. And, and there you uh, go. There we and go. the Senators are in town this year, which is another real opportunity. Uh, and if you come early, you can park at a discounted rate, and you don't have to worry about all the senators parking. So come early and park in City Island. Uh, but uh, the senator is going to be there uh, for the whole weekend, and that's going to bring thousands more people down to Capona, and it's going to just sort of create that uh, that wonderful uh, energy. We're going to be able to hear the balls flying, the crowd cheering, and uh, the music playing, and the food. It's it's uh, it's going to be going to be fun. Chris, do you have anything in particular uh, that you, you like about uh, City Island, particular things? That you well, like uh, I think one thing is beautiful. It's beautiful. That whole area is uh, amazing. So it's a great place to exercise, jog, and, uh, and, and right along the river. It's a, it's a beautiful thing going across that bridge and coming back. Um, and I would definitely have to say this, the Senators game. I mm -hmm. mean, it's, uh, it's a staple in our community now, and, and you can see uh, some top-notch baseball right here in our own area. Um, and it's good to follow the players after they leave the Senators and, 
and go to the major league. So uh, I love the Senator games. Well, that's great. The vendors, uh, they, they deserve our support, and I think they're all going to be doing specials for uh, Capona. They, they generally do that for the, for the holiday weekends. They're, it should be a great time, if you, if you haven't gone yet, to, to sort of uh, support them and say, uh, we appreciate you being on City Island and being a part of uh, attracting people uh, to the city. Michelle, um, what do you like uh, best about City Island? Um, going there with my family and... Um do it, you know, we take the dogs or red bikes and have ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just the, the whole park's just really, it's really unique. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I think we'll do we'll do one more round of interesting trivia because I know you're 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 watching at home and you're 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 thinking to yourselves. But the real reason I like to go to Capona uh, is to come and go for the food. And there is a part there is a part of uh, of me that 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 can't resist that. Um, I will confess right out of the gate that uh, kettle corn, fresh kettle corn is, uh, is possibly, uh, there's nothing better. I, I can't think of any better uh, snack food in the world. And it's something that you really want to eat while it's still hot and still has that uh, sugary consistency. Uh, I love that about Capona. I mean, I like, I like everything else too, but I love ke kettle corn. Shannon, what is your, your favorite snack? Food? Funnel cakes. Funnel cake? Funnel cake, yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. It goes back yeah. to the early days of my very first carnivals. And anything on that. the funnel cake or just? Uh, uh, just the, the powdered sugar. Just the powdered sugar. Lots and lots of powdered sugar so you walk away with it all over your clothing. I think I think that's I think it's very acceptable uh, at, at Capona once at a year. Capona, yes, of course. At Capona, yes. Excellent, Chris. Do you have a favorite? Uh, well, uh, I like food? I like the barbecue down there. Oh, down yeah. there, it's always great. But uh, you can't leave the uh, the Capona without getting a funnel cake. So I have to agree. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, it's hard to beat it's hard to beat fresh uh, funnel. Cake. Also, mm -hmm. one of those things that you have to you can, you have to seize the moment of the festival yes. to enjoy. Michelle, do you have a favorite? Uh, mine would be the kettle corn too. Oh, good. All right. <laughs> Excellent. I, I am not affiliated with any kettle corn vendor, uh, but uh, I certainly hope you will, you will come and uh, support all of our vendors. They also make uh, Capona happening by um, uh, supporting this through fees. So this year the city is very proud that we are, are basically using very, very few um, uh, city dollars to help put just a small portion that we had in the budget. Almost all of this is coming from private donation or permit fees, uh, um, a lot of volunteerism and uh, work all around. I want to also take a moment and thank our, our Public Works Department, which does so much to make these events happen. It just doesn't happen that uh, the, you know, the trash cans get put out and the, the barricades get put out and the electrical uh, is set up for the vendors. It represents a lot of work. It's going to be an entire week's work of, uh, of prep time, if not more. Um, our police are there to make sure it's uh, safe and fun as it, uh, as it always is. They'll be out. You'll see Chief Carter uh, probably in civilian clothes milling about and uh, talking with people. And of course, our, our economic development team and our planning staff, most, most especially Devin Drabeck, uh, who's been a, a wonderful hire here as the new business development officer uh, for the city, who's, who's gone out and, and secured um, what I think is going to be a tremendous, tremendous Capona 2015. So thank you all for being here. I think we've gotten people excited about Capona. I know everyone's going to be looking forward to it. Uh, thank you at home for watching another episode of Word in the Berg. Uh, we will be back next time. And until then, I will see you at Capona.